yeah, uh, Christ just wanted me to uh, to explain uh, just something that uh, I said in the past before, but he wanted me to actually put it in a video. Um, yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, this is okay. In in the past, I had, I was talking in the in the past, and uh, I was speaking to individuals about you know this is to individuals who are ignorant of the Holy Spirit, you know, and uh, and basically uh, there's like two sides to a coin, you know, and uh, one of the sides is somebody who knows what the power of the Holy Spirit is like, and the other side is the power of what a person doesn't know what it's like to have the Holy Spirit. But to a person, when I speak about these types of things that I speak about and I speak on, when they have the Holy Spirit, they already know what I'm talking about because the Holy Spirit is already teaching them themselves at the same time that I'm being taught. They may be hearing like a new word, but they're already familiar with the things that I'm telling them already. They're already, they're already aware of the, the things that they, that we, we you know, uh, they, they talk, they're already familiar with the things that I'm speaking on, a person who who doesn't know what I'm talking about, you know, to them they just look from the outside looking in, and they they're like, man, you're crazy, like you sound insane. But to a person who actually knows what I'm talking about, uh, to that person, uh, they're like, well, they're like, I know exactly what you're talking about, and the Holy Spirit is teaching me even while you're teaching me about what you're talking about. And again, this is the the confidence that that people have who have the Holy Spirit. They have this confidence about things what that they talk about because they themselves have the experience to back up the confidence that they actually are speaking on. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I could go on and and just and I could go on and just like actually talk about it more, but. Most of the stuff that I've already said is uh, it's already been explained in other in, in other uh, in other videos of mine, um, which is why I speak uh, confidently about going to heaven and why I say to myself to put myself in the shoes like I'm already in heaven currently, but not like currently, but it's like I put myself like I'm in heaven while I'm living in this state of mind. And like when I'm in this state of mind, uh, it's like it automatically downloads itself to me because I'm already familiar with what heaven is like to me. I already know what that, not the atmosphere, I already know what it's like to go in heaven and to, and to be, uh, not, and to not be in the oppressive state like that I'm in currently, you know. So I would go to heaven and I already, I'm, I'm kind of familiar with it. I know how it would not act, and that's basically, you know, how I, I kind of, uh, for example, uh, like right now, I could act like I'm in heaven right now. Uh, I already know that the stuff that I'm saying right now, it's like, uh, it's just weird. It's just downloaded to me. Like, I don't have to explain this stuff to you. You automatically know what I'm trying to, you automatically know what I'm trying to say to you. And, um, and yeah, people, this is, uh, this is important to always be in this state of mind, like, as if you're, in heaven currently and like your, your life already ended and you're in heaven and you're passed on from life to death and life just goes on uh like having heavenly conversations our conversations are are, are heavenly i don't know where i even bless god i even heard this from or where i even got this from to begin with to have heavenly conversations but that in, that in itself is powerful because when you have these heavenly conversations, you put yourself under the mindset to a person who actually has been in heaven. You put yourself under the mindset, you know, that uh, that, that you're in heaven, you know. So it, at the same time, it, it, it all goes along with it. And you, you obviously know that you're not going to be acting like a fool in, in front of Christ. And you know that you're not going to be acting stupid in front of Christ, but you're just going to act humble and meek. And you're just going to be like, yeah. But sometimes, you know, obviously you need help. You need to ask Christ, like, what do I do now? Where do I go from here? I'm in this state of mind, like I'm in heaven uh, currently in the spirit. But I don't know where to go from here. And so you have to ask Christ to help you out and to aid you how you need to act accordingly and appropriately. Like, you're in heaven. Like, is it like what do I do? Do I worship? Do I praise? Like, what am I going to be doing in heaven currently? Because I know not at every moment, any given moment, is a moment for you to praise, and not at any given moment. It's a moment for you to worship, and at any given moment, you you play uh, on your harp that Christ gives to you. So there's there's moments and there's a time to everything. There's a, and the timing always has to be. It's like what what do you want me to do? Uh, and uh, 
and yeah, that, that's 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 about it, you know. And uh, you put yourself under that that state of mind where you're you're already in heaven, and like, and like you, there's you know, this is an Ecclesiastes. There's a time for everything. There's a time for war, and there's a time for peace. There's a time for love, and there's a time for hate, and all this other stuff. And uh, and so yeah, I definitely encourage you people to to get into that. I mean, to get into that, like, that state of mind where you act like you're in heaven already. And then when you get into the state of mind where you act in heaven, ask Christ to take it from there because you don't know where to go from there. Because seriously, I get into this state, I get into this state of mind. I could just act normal. I could just, like, act normal, like, interact with, with Jesus Christ, like, as if he's, just, like, really in front of me. I just, like, like, yeah, I'm in earth right now, and, you know, but I, I'm interacting with you, and I understand, I understand the type of, uh, Anoint, not even the anointing, but the type of yoke that is on me. But it's not even to be disrespectful. But it's like the type of yoke that is on me while I'm in heaven. It is just, it's just that you. There's just certain things that a lot of people do while they're on earth that uh, they wouldn't do in heaven because they're in heaven. And it's not to say like it's to belittle them or to try to make them feel guilty about it. But it's just to uh, to tell the individual that you know that you're not really doing. The things that you're supposed to be doing and you should keep yourself in check and to actually do the type of things that you will be doing in heaven and uh so many people don't have the type of knowledge about what you will how you actually act in heaven and to those types of people just be yourself and people seriously because some individuals it's not their character to uh to act uh not foolish because everybody's foolish to an extent you know god is the only person that's wise Every person has their own personal characteristics, you know, and their own characters that make them who they are. So to somebody, you know, somebody may might, may find something hilarious, but to you, you just say, yeah, like, I've heard this plenty of times. This is really not that funny anymore. And then it's like, and then it's like to another person, it's just like, oh, like, oh. it's like, ha, 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 girl, you're hilarious. It, it really depends on the person. Well, just be yourself, people. Uh, some some of you people don't have this type of don't have this type of experience. You know, I'm not saying why, but you know, I'm saying just be yourself and act in the correct character. Act with the knowledge that God already knows exactly who you are at your core. Okay, but just act like that. Like God knows exactly who you are and, and who your true self is, truly. And ask Christ again to help you out and to understand. And, and another thing that Christ wanted me to uh, to to explain to you is uh, how many times have you been angry in your life? And obviously, plenty of times, right? How many times did you get over that anger? People do not get enveloped with the cares of the world, and and you start getting angry about the type of things that happen to you in this lifetime. Every time that you've ever been angry, you've gotten over it. I mean, sometimes the problem may have, may have lingered for a while, but eventually you got over it. So this is just something that I want you guys to apply to your mind. And just think about the, all the times that you've ever been angry and just try to get over the situations that are causing you to to hold on to things that you shouldn't hold on to. Uh, be forgiving. Uh, don't be hateful. Uh, what else? Uh, keep praying God to prune you and to refine you and get rid of all the dross and, and to get rid of all the... And to to keep building on top of that sincere, uh, genuine, precious faith that you have, and building precious stones and diamonds and silver and gold, and uh, and yeah, and, and basically uh, and basically get, getting rid of all the, the wooden objects and things that that don't withstand the heat and the flame. Uh, keep working on your character, people. Keep working on your fruits. Uh, the knowledge of of sin is not wisdom people you're not gonna get smart by focusing on sin you're gonna you're gonna get overwhelmed by how it's truly sinful you are for real you're gonna be like man i'm a mess and i need christ yeah people that is 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 that serious and then next thing you know the voice of condemnation just comes in your ear and you just start and you just can't even think straight Focus on the spirit, people. The spirit conquers the flesh, and the spirit conquers conquers whatever that is. And focus on the spirit. When you get convicted, though, this that's a different thing. Conviction and condemnation are two different 
things. When you get convicted, that's when it hits you in your core, and you're just like, oh my goodness, you're like, you're like, that's for me, and you're just like, man, I have to repent seriously. And when you're condemned, when you're condemned, it's, it's a louder voice, I believe. I'm not even too sure, though. I just know that the voice of conviction is different than the voice of condemnation. And the voice of conviction, it, it, you could actually sincerely feel the, the conviction. And when you feel the conviction, you're just like, ooh, like, man, I, I did tweak. And, like, I really did mess up. And you're just like, man, I have to repent immediately. Man, it's just a feeling that you get. It's just like, tsh, And you're just like, ooh. And you're like, man, I was like, I just got convicted. And you're just like, man, I just got convicted. And yeah, basically, uh, that's uh, the whole, uh, the whole point of that. Uh, uh, So it is, uh, it's absolutely important, people, that you actually do recognize the voice of condemnation and the voice of conviction. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's basically about it. When you get convicted, people, uh, honestly, like, there's no way around the conviction. When you're getting convicted, you know within yourself that you're like, yeah, I tweaked, I messed up. When you get condemned, that's, that's, just remember that Christ didn't come here to condemn the world, but to save it. When you get accused, yeah, that's something else too, but if you're getting accused by the devil, it's, it's you know, how do I explain it to you? You have to silence the accuser. But, you know, I don't, I don't even know about accusations. Because the, the Pharisees used the, I mean, the devils used the Pharisees to convict, uh, I mean, to to falsely accuse Jesus from not being, for blasphemy, for saying that he wasn't the son of God. But, you know, it's, it's like hit or miss with these devils. There's something along those lines, but, uh, yeah, people, you can't cheat God. You can only run away from God for so much. Before eventually you just like, man, forget it. I gotta repent, you know? Like, like, like seriously, like, they're, they're, like you, you can't cheat God, and uh, you can only run away from the conviction for, for so much before you're just like, man, like, for real, I had to really repent. Like, I thought everything was sweet and everything was like fine and dandy, but like, seriously. And sometimes you just have to explain yourself over and over again because people keep asking. And don't get it twisted, people. These people will send angels to you to ask you and to bring up a situation in the past just so you have to re-explain yourself because these people are insecure about why they're saying... Why they're saying... uh. But nah, I've had I've had people send angels to me to constantly ask me questions, and I'm just like, I'm not gonna answer this question anymore because I already answered it. And they're just like, nah, they're like, well, they're like you got to answer it because they're asking, and I'm like, fine. It's like nah. And then afterwards, they're like, okay. But nah, it, it realistically does depend on the individual. Uh, some people, when they hear conviction and they know that they have to change, like me and myself from past experience, I'll get convicted in the past and I'll be like, man, I don't want to change. I was like, man, that message is not for me. And then other times I'll be, I'll be getting threatened with death by God and immediately, obviously, I'm going to be like, yeah, nah, forget that. I was like, I, I don't care if I'm wrong. I don't care if I don't do it. I don't care if this message is not for me. I'm going to repent for it because... The, the threat is more severe than what I feel in my heart. And uh, it's, it's more serious. Uh, people, don't be conceited with your own knowledge. Uh, don't be conceited with your own wisdom. Don't be wise in your own conceit. God may have chosen to reveal a lot of things to you, but that doesn't mean that you're anything close to being wise. The only person wise is God, people, and Jesus Christ.
I mean, Jesus Christ was perfect. He was the epitome of wisdom in a man. Uh, what else was I gonna say? Uh, bless God. Uh, if you're, if you're in a state where you're just getting constantly bombarded, yeah, that's time for deliverance. And you need to either deliver yourself through the Holy Spirit inside of you, bless God, and deliver yourself from the oppression that you that you've uh, that that you've reached in, and just deliver yourself, people. But I, I would say even take it further and just deliver yourself every day. I like pray for an hour, for thirty minutes, pray for two hours for deliverance and delivering yourself and to stay delivered, people. Because seriously, these situations arise and the devils come back with a quick, with a with a with a viciousness, trying to destroy you because they failed the first time. So now they came back with seven more uh, wicked devils in themselves. Yeah, not nah, people. They they come back to destroy you, which is why forewarned is forearmed. Um, but back to the topic, people, because uh, bless God, I still kind of want to talk about the uh, about a heavenly character because that's actually really important that you act in, in that certain way. People don't force it, don't fake it. I see many people who try to fake it and try to force it, and I notice it for myself because I've already been in that in that road, and I've already been. I'm very familiar, you know, with it. Um, don't try to force it, people. Just humble yourself down, and God will exalt you in due time. Uh, you don't have to uh, force these types of activities or these types of things. There's a time for everything. There's a time for beauty. There's a time for uh, for it all, people. Not every time is your time. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, people, there's a time always for everything. Uh, there's time for praise. Oh, I spoke earlier about this. How when you go to heaven, there's it's like, what do I do now? Do I worship? Like, I don't know what to do. There's not always a time to worship. It's not always a time to praise. I mean, it's good to worship always while you're on earth, but uh, in heaven, there's gonna be so many different things to do. And realistically, you you know, when everybody's in the same uh, type of uh, way of thinking, they want to worship type of stuff and. When everybody's at the same time, everybody just falls down and they just start worshiping and everybody, you mourn with those that mourn and you and you laugh with those that laugh and uh, it's, it's basically that type of stuff. Uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, yeah, that's, that's just, not, you know, that's about it. You know, there's just a time for everything, people. Uh, get familiar with the, with with the with that uh get familiar with that spirit. Get very acquainted with that spirit uh of, of the timing spirit. How there's a time for everything. Uh, apply yourself diligently with that. That there's a time for everything. There's a time for war. There's a time for peace. Uh, there's a time for rest and there's a time for battle. Um, there's a time for love. There's a time for hate. Uh, there's a time for uh. Uh, for fury, there's a time for all this other stuff. There's a time for all of it, and uh, nah. Uh, there's a there's a proverb that goes that a person who plays music at the wrong timing is the same as somebody who wakes them up from his sleep, or there's something along those lines, people. And it's like, dang. <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense, you know, because it's like, you woke me up at the wrong time. <laughs> you woke me up from my sleep. I was sleeping. It was something along those lines. And it's an ecclesiastic kiss. Uh, yeah, study wisdom, people. God does not like fool. God does not delight in fools. Uh, study wisdom. If you make a, God a promise, think ahead before you promise God something because realistically, you know, you have to pay what you owed, what you vowed. Uh, I made a promise to God to be faithful no matter what. And that's actually, you know, that's not really a promise, though, because it's, it's not really anything, because I already knew within myself that I was always going to be faithful. Who am I going to go to? The devil? And the devil's the reason for this madness. But, um... But, uh... Yeah, people, don't get anxious. Don't force things when you talk to an individual. Uh, Don't talk to an individual and try to force... Uh, situation out of it. it it'll just happen by itself people just don't force it just just be yourself uh what else don't force anything uh be acquainted with that spirit as well not to force anything 
Because a lot of people like to force things, and as soon as they force these things, it's like it just dis- it disrupts the the natural flow, and it's just like nah, dude, like you're kind of tweaking. And it's just like yeah, you kind of damn. <laughs> and uh, whatever you know, but the, with these things, it comes, it takes, it takes practice. Always know that somebody's always better th- at you. Everything, literally everything that you do, there's always gonna be somebody better at you. With everything, you're not the best in anything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, humble yourselves. That got me exhaustion in due time. Amen. Uh, I think that's about it. I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, I, I wanted to end this video, but Christ is like, nah, hold on. Uh, angels are coming right now to tell me and to talk to me. Uh, yeah, bless the Lord. Nah.